in this edition of the news. There's another image of the Admiral Akbar card back. Wait till you see what it looks like. Target stores in the US have full geek out coming up soon. The Hasbro Pulse Cons coming up soon. Some in hand shots of some new figures upcoming. And a gift from Keep On Collecting is the name of the YouTube channel. Awesome stuff. Thank you guys. Well, there's some more coming up. Welcome! I'm back! Yes, I didn't put a big fancy intro in like I did for my G.I. Joe video. <laughs> Go back and have a look at that, that was fun. Been a long time since I made a YouTube video on Star Wars news. I've been, you know that finger on the pulse thing? It's like this YouTube channel, is the pulse still there. <laughs> pulse, Hasbro Pulse. Never mind! Let's get into it! There was an image we've all seen of Admiral Akbar for the return of the Jedi 40th anniversary. It is the MC. M London Comic Con exclusive figure. It will probably be available later on on Hasbro Pulse and fan channels eventually. That's on the 28th of October to November 1st. That's the figure. Lovely, lovely. This, this is a convention exclusive. However, jump to this photo here. He's a foil card back. Just like a lot of convention specials. And uh, as you can see, see like that, that black square in it. That's where the light hits it and refracts. I will get a figure here. And explain that to you is here. Look at this. So here is a TVC card back. The one on we're talking about is six inches. This is just for reference of the card. See when you reflect the card, you get that thing. Ooh. So there's my beautiful Cara Dune carbonized version. And that looks like well, it's not a carbonized, but it's got that glossy sort of finish. The same as this card back as well. Very tempted to pick it up. And where is Admiral Akbar? That's right. Oh, knock over C-3PO. Oh my god, he's dead! Number one in the Return of the Jedi lineup. Excellent. The Fall Geek Out, which is a Target store exclusive event online. They'll load it up when they're ready, possibly early, maybe late, you know, the, the systems are like. You'll be able to click on and buy something. And these are the two figures according to gackface.com on Instagram. You can get the Shaw Trooper from the Andor series and the Imperial Officer. That will go up for pre-order on the 23rd of September. Friday the 23rd of September. Two of the four exclusives. Don't think I put any more up there, but eh, that's the way to get them. Internationally, you find them elsewhere. Hobby Base, one of my favorite little Instagram pages on the internet, is a store in Hong Kong. And they get figures early because that's where they kind of make them. And... The, the country I'm talking about. <laughs> and they put them up online early and have a look at the credit collection. Lovely, lovely. We have seen these figures before, but here we have the in-hand shots of Mando, Boba Fett without his mask, Bo-Katan, Tusken Raider, Ahsoka Tano. The Gaming Greats Biker Scouts in there as well. And that Jedi Survivor 3 pack, which Boss Bounty and Obi-Wan Kenobi on their YouTube channels uh, have already reviewed that. Go and check those guys out. Awesome stuff. I've had a look myself. It'll be interesting to see how that Mando credit collection sells. There's, there's some good looking artwork in there, but people are sort of over the repaint sort of thing. But another version of Mando? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right. Hasbro PulseCon's coming up. And of course, they're going to reveal figures that we kind of have in the pipeline, some rumored stuff. And also, the thing I want to ask are they going to have a reveal of a HasLab for Star Wars? Now, to do one in Black Series, It'll just be a terrible, dismal fail once again. So they got to go back to TVC and do one. If they do, the smartest version of anything they could do is whatever comes out next year. Hello anniversary of Return of the Jedi. A HasLab of the Ewok Village. As much as I want a cantina, and some people want a sand crawler, I think the smart thing, the timing will be right. Everybody in the anniversary year will get their Ewok Village. Now, I'm just speculating, but I think that is the thing that may make or break Hasler for Star Wars. They get that right. If we see another lightsaber, oh, boy, that would be a disappointment. <laughs> but a playset like that, yes, because there's a, a playset that is rumored to come out called Blake, I believe. And I said it should be something from Jedi because the pill is green. Thanks to yakface.com doing that was hinting towards it being it could be most likely a bunker 
very small scale playset, much like the sets that we have here where they're just little, you know, that's an easy do, easy. And then you got your bunker and then they've got the Haslev, which is the tree house and all that village and wow, world building. That's just my thoughts. The Hasbro PulseCon will be li live stream on their YouTube channel on the 30th of September to the 1st of October. Next up, we're going to talk about a letter that I received with some goodies, which you can see in front of you, from Adam, who's, who said, here's some extra figs, my, you, I sent you the Lance Peter a long time ago, and there it is, and we have Indy and Jones riding up front there. That's what he's talking about, and he sent along C-3PO to go in there. Sorry, Indy, you're moving out. So he's in there. Articulation on this guy, not so good. And he wanted to put that in there, but I flattened out the card and I love it so much because, you know, these just look damn awesome, these 50th anniversary Lucasfilm stuff. Because uh... in the letter he says, now you can put C-3PO and Luke on it. And I have. <laughs> also, I want to ask everybody out there, I have no idea where this guy comes from. I, ha I don't know, I've checked alongside all the versions of the child with the pram. Get him in close there. So if you have any idea where this little guy comes from, let me know in the comments. I, I don't know that version of him. The pram is different to every version I've seen. I'm not sure if it is Hasbro. It could be a Mattel. I, I don't know. Even Adam, if you're out there, let me know in the comments. What version of Grogu is this? Awesome. Also, dun -dun -dun, now as you saw, Damien gifted me the fantastic droids Boba Fett. It's fantastic. I'm keeping that mint and sealed. This one, we're going to open. Opening toys again. What's going on? There he is, Boba Fett. That's what's inside that box. If you have that figure at home, and my little head around the side there. Have I cut the tape off the bottom yet? Yeah, I did, didn't know. <laughs> I don't know how well that looks. There he is. He's got his gun all holstered up. Just looks fantastic. Soft goods. Well, it's not really soft. It's covered in paint. It's stiff as a board. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. There you go. You can stand over there. I'll find a spot to display him on all, all the times. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Think, McFly. Oh. Think. Before we get into the package, as you know, my town flooded recently. Well, not recently. 28th of February, 2020. Massive flood. Biblical flooding. You know, the record that never seen that high. I've been working on like a little documentary, filming bits and pieces while I'm in town of how it's coming along, how the town's coming back to life. Well, before the floods, I was going to get myself the little embroidered patches that you see some YouTubers have. You, you've probably seen Nobody's Boss Bounty and Only One Kenobi. They have the little embroidered patch, and there's a town, there's a store in town that I was going to get, and obviously the town got washed away and that store no longer exists. So I'm going to think about some other options to get something like that. I'm thinking about coffee cups. Might go and get some of my logos uh, embroidered, embroidered, you know, embroidered onto a coffee cup, you know, printed onto the side of it. <laughs> and then I'll be able to sell them like proper merch from here because I use the Redbubble site that prints all the stuff in the US and then distributes around the world. This way I can also have some merch here so I can drink out of the coffee cup and say, buy my, buy one, you know, I'll do them nice and cheap. Let me know your thoughts about that, guys. Um, the embroidered patches. I don't know what I'm going to do about that for the time being, but hey, coffee cups may be on the way. Let's get into the box from Keep On Collecting. I talked to Matt from Keep On Collecting. Very cool conversation on the phone about everything, YouTube, you know, what we get up to when we're not on the YouTubes, <laughs> that sort of thing. And he's kindly sent this along. Oh, the other guy who works on the channel is Andrew. Please go and subscribe to them. Great channel. They do vintage toys lot of Star Wars. They do a live stream uh, every now and again. I think once every two weeks, once a week. Go and check out the channel. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. 
And if you've watched the channel Mark Shabby Geek or Reynolds Reviews, you would have seen these guys already posted packages out to, to those two channels. And he sent one out to me. And look how well it is packed. Bum, ba, da, bum. Bubble wrap galore. I can see a note. Let me grab the note. Oh, lots of words. To Mike, hope you and the family are well. Obviously, it would have been fantastic to meet so we could give this gift to you. However, time circumstances didn't work in our favor this time around. Andrew and I have enjoyed your channel for about two years now. It was the first channel we found that dealt with toy reviews. So we're glad now that we can converse with you on a more personal note. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Your channel is loved in this community and you are a highly regarded person who people respect and enjoy their news. <laughs> enjoy these figs we found for you to add to your ever-growing collection your pals Andrew and Matt from keep on collecting thank you guys that that's very nice of you and I appreciate it very very much let's get in find out what we have here it's the black series figure oh, oh my god wandering Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi bloody brilliant number one number one on that mural excellent that's a damn fine figure that comes with Lola. It's Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. But wait! <laughs> There's more! There's another one wrapped up. Let me put that in there. Kenobi. Kenobi. I can see the other one from the same show. Can you guess? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Vader. Thank you very much. One's, one must be from Andrew, one must be from Matt. Brilliant guys. Thank you so much. Vader. Oh, by the way, Vader. We'll have a good look at Vader as well. Dun, 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 dun. Number two. Thank you so much, fellas. Brilliant. Hope you've all enjoyed today. Let's not wait another two weeks before I'm back with the news. Well, it was only a light news today, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, I'm sitting here cracking this bubble wrap. Very therapeutic. See you all next time. Here's my outro. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. My name is Usual Mike. If you enjoyed this content, consider being a member of the channel and hit that join button below. You might like to pick something up from Amazon in the affiliates link down below. And also there is a link to my Redbubble store so you can pick up some merch with my logos on it. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmiketv. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. All the best.